Hello viewers, I welcome you again today to another edition of the Open Heavens Reflection, a daily devotional written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Our topic for discussion today is overflowing fruitfulness. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. The memory verse is John 15 verse 8, which says, by this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Reflections. God is amazed. And one thing about him is that he does everything without measure. When God decides to bless a man, he blesses him abundantly. This is why his son said in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and they might have it more abundantly. When God makes a man fruitful, the fruitfulness is always overflowing. God loves his children who can bring forth much fruit. From my memory verse, you also note that one of the signs of discipleship is fruitfulness. The name of the Almighty God is glorified in our life when we are fruitful in every good thing of life. And God is a specialist in ensuring the fruitfulness of his children. Hannah asked for one son, and the Lord answered by giving her six children. Peter asked to catch fish, to catch fish just enough for all night's toil. But the Lord responded by making him to catch a boat sinking scoop of fish. Saul was just going on looking for his father's lost donkey. But the Lord who can do all things gave him a whole kingdom, the kingdom of Israel. Paul was so anointed that his handkerchiefs were used to conduct deliverance services in places where he could not travel to. Pastor Adeboye related how four ladies sat on the seat where he sat in America, and that was what brought an end to their barrenness. God's overflowing anointing shall be upon you this season so that anything you touch will be anointed and there will be great signs and wonders following you. Action point. Pray for every couple trusting God for the fruit of the womb in your local church that by the mercies of God, they will be granted their heart desire. I prophesy and I decree to you today that the fruitfulness of the Almighty God will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and see you again.